Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Learn How to Edit Stuff. My name is Ian, and today we are going to make really cool boomerang video things from just a single photo. Trigger warning! This workflow uses AI, so if you hate AI and you're just gonna drop a shit comment in my comment section below, you can leave now. Those of you that wanna stick around, we're also gonna use After Effects, so that's cool. This workflow can be used on all sorts of different videos. Automotive, culinary, fashion, food, you name it. It's genuinely a really cool workflow and it's actually pretty simple to do, so feel free to use it for whatever video project you're working on. All I ask in return is that you just subscribe to my channel, drop a comment in the comment section below, leave a thumbs up on this video, and let me know if you like this type of content. That's all. That's all I'm asking. Okay, for this video, we're gonna be using Runway for the video portion and then Adobe After Effects for the boomerang portion and the effects portion. If you don't have a Runway account, you can sign up for one completely for free and still do this tutorial, all good. If you have one, sign into your Runway account, grab your image and head over into the generative video tool. Upload your photo into Runway and make sure Gen 3 Alpha Turbo is selected and then click on the camera controls icon on the left. And this is how we're gonna turn our images into videos to create the camera movement in the boomerang. Okay, the most important thing to know about camera controls here is the closer your subject is to the camera, the lower the values you need to use. Assuming most of you are gonna be using like medium close to close up photos, you can keep those values relatively low. Don't crank it all the way to like eight or nine. You probably don't even have to go to like three or four. You can keep it from zero to like one, maybe two on the high end if your photo is a close up. So truly you don't have to give it much. Of course, you have tons of camera directions to choose from. Feel free to use just one or a combination of many for the shot that you're using for this. To make an orbiting shot, we can apply some horizontal movement, then some panning movement in the opposite direction. If you want to cheat a little bit, use the presets down at the bottom and just make sure to replace the purple parts of the prompt with the descriptions of your image specifically. To freeze your subject in time, make sure to add it explicitly to your prompt. In this case, we'll say the boy is frozen in midair to make sure that we don't get any unwanted movement, but you can add subject movement to your image if you want to. Choice is yours, put it in the prompt, don't put it in the prompt, uh, what am I gonna do? Now click the generate button, and this video specifically is a 10 second generation, but you can always do a five second generation if you want. And now all that's left is to take that video and bring it into After Effects, right click on it in your timeline, and go to time, enable time remap it and then grab that last keyframe, drag it all the way to the front of your timeline, and then copy and paste the first keyframe equal distance away from your middle keyframe, which is going to create that nice boomerang loop animation. Please, please add some keyframe easing to your looping, okay? I use this plugin called Flow. It's really amazing, not sponsored. You can use it if you want. You can get it on aescripts.com. If you don't wanna use Flow, highlight all of those keyframes, hit F9 to ease them, and then open up the graph editor to apply custom easing between all of the keyframes. Definitely play around here to make the easing work best for the video that you're making. And then as a final pass, add some cool effects to the video to spice it up a little bit. I'm personally using Red Giant Universe Retrograde and Universe Grain for my videos, but you can use whatever plugins you want, whatever you have on hand. You don't even have to use plugins. You can be a, a purist for all I care. As long as you're following the tutorial, subscribing to the channel, dropping a comment in the comment section below, throwing a thumbs up on this video, that's all I ask. So use this stylistic treatment on social media, standalone, you know, for cool product shots, fashion shots, whatever, bury it inside of a longer video. The choice is yours. The choice is always yours. And you chose to watch this video today. And for that, I thank you very much. And you're also going to choose to comment down below and give it a thumbs up and subscribe and all the stuff that I ask very nicely in exchange for free information. That's all I ask, just a simple button click. Thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Ian, this of course is Learn How to Edit Stuff and I will see you in the next one.